Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm here today with my partner Tamo. Good to have you, Tamo. Hi, hi. I'm Raul, and let's talk about the full stack opportunities here in Germany. Um, we want to share our screen and talk about a specific job description to get you really a, a full picture of what skills are needed and what tools you need to handle. Um, Tamo, you selected, choose one um, full stack position for a position based here in Berlin. Exactly. So we mainly focus on, on JavaScript TypeScript um, because uh, that is the yeah, most in demand tech stack for full stack guys here at the moment. So let's just jump in, senior software engineer full stack. Um, we can ignore all the um, stuff which we are reading here in the beginning. Um, let's focus on um, you'll be a great match if and let's start with the second point, passionate development skills on both front-end and back-end with extensive experience using JavaScript, TypeScript, Node and React. So first of all, the classical combination Node and React, this is what you will see with most of the companies here. Some companies also use a different um, front-end framework like um, Vue.js or Angular, but mostly it's Node and React. Um, so just to interrupt here, uh, what is if you have types from Node.js and Angular? Um, for that position, ideally you need to have React because if you are an international applicant, you need to fulfill 80 to 90 percent of this job description. So. If you do not have React, if you would be applying, your chances at the moment are very little that you get invited to an interview. Exactly, and there are many, many more jobs for you as a React uh, developer or um, in, in compared to Angular. Let us uh, move further. And the second, um, they mentioned here, if individuals who do not possess experience using these languages are welcome to apply so long you are able to showcase your ability to learn. Again, if you're applying from outside Germany, I mean, they write it, but you will have really little chances that they're going to invite you because you, you're not in Germany, you don't have a work visa yet. Um, so it's very unlikely that you're going to be invited if you do not have those core skills. The next um, thing they mention here is cloud computing, AWS, Azure, or GCP. Um, why they're using AWS first? They probably work in an AWS environment. Most companies in Germany, 70 to 80 percent, are using AWS, so focus on AWS. Um, understanding design patterns and have working experience in developing and deploying microservices on the cloud role. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, when, when we talk about microservices, yeah, I mean they say deploying, but um, developing and deploying, that means you should be able to prove that you have done that from scratch yeah, and build them with Node.js and I'm not sure if it comes up there, but also deploy them on Kubernetes. That is really uh, um, important to know. Hands on um, with the REST APIs and apply to test-driven development principles. Again, they're looking for test-driven development, writing clean codes, unit test, integration test, and in the first term, um, in the first point, they mentioned that you have to have a strong experience with writing technical documentation. So what they're looking for what is someone who can write clean code and who is also able to document that effectively. So they obviously follow a very structured approach. And um, if you're not able to do that, so if you do not have an idea about what is TDD, um, how to write unit tests and so on, that is the very first thing you need to look up. Um, check solid principles, other best practices to write clean code. This is absolutely key. And one thing, Raul, um, when it's about technical documentation, what does it tell us? What kind of style of communication do you have to bring across? Yeah, I think we also talked about that in another uh, career clip, that uh, quality is important. Huh? Like um, on one side, the communication, but also writing, huh? um, that it's all clean. Huh? We not only talk about the, the code itself, which of course needs to have a very, a very high standards, but um, everything when it comes to documentation yeah? and also then uh, later on the communication part is uh, very important here. Yeah? Structure and manage your, your resources. They mentioned um, a few other interesting points. One is uh, high data protection requirements. So brush up on your security skills and your data protection skills. Um, this is becoming more and more important. 
And um, last but not least, bonus points. So they mentioned some very, very specific ones. So experience in building progressive web apps, that's maybe not too specific, but then domain expertise in decentralized identity solutions. Experience in developing systems with cryptography requirements. So what does that tell us? So usually companies are looking for someone who can solve their problems or who have solved similar problems before. So ideally, you make sure that you have worked maybe on similar products before, projects before, and then you highlight that in your CV. So you showcase, hey, look, I have worked on a decentralized identity solution before. We had both on those challenges and this is how I solved them. If you are able to bring that across, also throughout the interview process, this is a very important step for you to get an offer. Great, thank you, Tamo. So, and if you need help for preparing your CV, also to pass the interview rounds here in Germany with companies in Germany, then please contact us and we look at your profile, assess it, create your new profile, exactly what we just talked about, in order to point out that you match the German job market And we are looking very much forward to meet you very soon. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen.